Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make an auto scaling text box. There's a handful of tutorials out there that cover this topic in great detail and spend time explaining exactly what the code is doing. This isn't one of those tutorials. We're just trying to get you the information you need and back to work. All right, let's get started. I'll begin by making a new composition and I'll make it 1920 by 1080, 2997, and I'll call it text box. Then I'll grab my type tool and I'll type out something like my text layer. Then I'll go up to layer, new, shape layer, and I'll add a rectangle and a fill. And I'll go ahead and rename the shape layer to be text box. I'll also drag it beneath my text layer. I'll twirl down the rectangle path and then I'll option click on the stopwatch for size to open the expression editor. And then I'm gonna define a variable, which I'm gonna call S. So I'll type in S equals, and then I'll use the pick whip and drag that up to my text layer. Then I'll add a semicolon and I'll hit return. After I hit return, I'll add this code. It's in the description below for easy copy and pasting. So your full expression should look like this. We're defining two new variables with this code and then using them as the X and Y size values. Source rect at time references the size of the text layer. So now the text box will always be the right size. All that's left to do is make sure it's in the right position. So I'll grab my text box and I'll snap it to my text layer holding command. And you can see that it's the exact size of the text. Now I'll option click on the stopwatch for the position of the rectangle path, not the layer, and add this expression. We've also added this one to the video description so you can copy and paste. You'll notice this expression is similar to what we used for the size. We've added in two new variables though that look at where the top and the left boundaries are of the text layer. These help place the box in the right spot. So now we've got all the coding done, I just need to move my box back into the right position. Now we're pretty much done, but the problem is that this text box has no padding around the text layer itself, which kind of cramps it up. So to give it a little bit of breathing room, I'll go to the add menu and I'll add an offset paths. In the offset paths, I can change this value to increase or decrease padding. I'm gonna set this value to 25 to give myself a 25 pixel pad all around the text layer. I'm also gonna go ahead and change the color of this text box to blue. Another great thing about this text box being a shape layer is I can add a stroke for even further customization. To keep that stroke from going over my text, I can just drag it below the fill. At this point, we're pretty much done, but for a little bit more flexibility, I'm gonna parent the text box to the text layer. So now I can just drag my text around and I can scale it up and the text box will go with it. I can even rotate it. And again, this is completely dynamic, so I can totally change my text and my text box will adapt to it. So I could change it now and you can see as I'm typing, the text box is changing. I can even change my justification to right or left and the text box will move with it. I can change the size of my text and I can even change my typeface itself. So you can see that this effect is super dynamic and really helpful when you're making text boxes or lower thirds or anything like that. If you'd like to dive deeper into this expression and customizing it even further, there's a great tutorial by Jake in Motion that we'll link in the description. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.